Hey Molt fans, welcome to another episode of Subnautica. And as you can see, I actually remembered that I hadn't built a fabricator yet. Felt a little bit silly that that was the last thing that I did, but it's fine. I was able to do most of that stuff because I have one in uh, my Cyclops, and that's where all the resources for this were, but... We are good. We are here. I was uh, getting some more resources to refill some of my lockers in the Cyclops, and now we are ready to go even deeper. So this should be fun. <laughs> in truth, I am slightly terrified, but it should be fine. Should all be fine. Okay, so let's get started. Engine offline, engine on. Okay, before you head down to the either the inactive or active lava zones, we're going to go slow. You want to have the shield upgrade, a cyclop, or what's it called? Module. What am I stuck on? Am I going? What is going on? What am I stuck on? Okay, a little bit confused as to why it wouldn't go forward right there, but now we're going, so that's good. We're going, I guess it's fine to go standard right now. Alright, do I have my... I can't even tell. I'm flickering the, the lights, but I'm not really seeing a difference at the moment. Okay, so over this way, there is an entrance to the inactive lava zone. So... Oh man, I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, before we get all the way down there, let me show you guys real fast. So, in our PDA, not that one, in the data downloads, is it alien data? No, it's codes and clues, alien facility location. So we found the disease research facility. We found the, I guess the, that cache was the offsite laboratory, which is cool. We have not found the primary containment facility or the thermal power facility. So uh, next, I think, is the thermal power facility. Can't talk. So that is what we're going to be trying to find. So that is the reason behind our traveling down over this way. I should actually probably make sure I'm going the right direction as well. Okay, good. I am indeed, because that would be embarrassing if I was just going the right direction and had to, or wrong direction, and I had to turn around. Alright, let's keep following this blue brine. I always want to call it bile, but it's brine. Oh, there's our Lost River Pathway markers. Oh, what? That, that was really weird. Oh, there we are. Okay. Start. Oh, do I not have... Wait, what? Now let's head down. Okay. This is where it can be a little bit tight. Probably want to switch to the lower one. So as you can see, heads down. But we need to not hit the front of the Cyclops on the cave wall. Which is getting really close. So now we're going to turn. Line ourselves up a little bit. That was a jelly ray we hit. Let's back up. Check our positioning. Actually, I think we might be good to start coming it down. Alright. This is good. Oh! What am I hitting? I'm hitting that. So now we can head forward a little. Let's go to the top one. Looks like we're clear up here. So let's head back down here. So yeah, this is how you use the cameras to try to not hit things. And we're good on the tail now. Yes, we are. Go deeper. And I'll probably just stay down here to drive. Stay semi close to the ground so that we don't hit the top of the of the of the whatchamacallit. Oh, we're hitting fish. That's what that banging noise is. We should be coming into the inactive lava zone soon. Hit that soon, go forward, there is the lava. So once you can see the lava, just follow the lava river and it will take you 
right to where you need to go. Okay, we're going in about the right direction. Let's follow the lava river. Oh, so there's our first view of a lava lizard. You can actually find their eggs down here. Uh, where is the front? There's the front. So, we're going to follow this path of lava down this way. So yeah, the other way just like leads to a dead end. Pretty much. So, uh, yeah, thought it was going to crash there. Let's go forward. And back to this one. Okay. Go a little bit lower. Keep following this lava river. Oh man, it's so dark down here. Deep mushroom galore. Deep shroom, whatever you want to call them. Oh, oh, oh look! You can see the red boomerangs! Oh, I totally want to go grab one. Okay, sorry. Random distraction. I really want one though. Wait, I just realized I'll probably catch on fire if I do that, so never mind. Once we get to where I am- what? Lava larva? Oh, there's lava larva on the ship. So, uh, those things will drain your power, and they're super obnoxious to get rid of. You can go out and, like, whack them with your- your knife. Is it- what is it? Why can't I access this at all? What is happening? Okay, seriously? Anyway, looks like I'm gonna have to do that, so this should be interesting. Okay, here we go. Yeah, gotta... Now gotta check the whole cyclops. Uh, lava larva are the bane of your existence down here. Hey, look! We can catch that boomerang! Or not? Why can't I pick up anything? Okay, there we go. The magma ring! There's also red eye eyes. Okay, I'm sorry. I want one of these. Can I... Oops. I did not mean to kill it. No, I'm sorry. Come here. Oh my gosh, it keeps like not working, so I'm clicking it a bunch. And then I click it again after I've got it. There we go. So yeah, there is red eye eyes. We have two. That's all I want. I can breed some more if I want them. Alright, we've got the lava larva off. Let's keep driving. Systems online. Will it let me drive it now? Okay, good. So like I said, you can flicker this on and off and it will get rid of... Oh man, see, look at that power that's gone down. I think I can make some more power cells. And let's... I can't see a thing. So we're going to return to this and it keep going. Okay. Keep... Whoa. I apparently ran into something. Strange. Probably a lava lizard. Alright. Keep following this lava river. Like seriously, that's the easiest thing to do down here. And I don't think it goes further down. Okay. Got gold or something right there. Got a giant warper. Hey, he teleported out of the way. He has a sense of self-preservation. Um, hmm. Which way to go from here? Oh wow, look at that lava lizard. Totally has the car. Okay, now I'm going to uh, come out. Flicker this on and off. Get off any lava lizards. Check the map. Okay. Really? Game? Clearly I'm not up there. So we need to turn left. Alright. Oh yeah, that's- there it is. Okay. Okay. Um... Uh, where am I? There. Does it go this way? It's like, it can be super hard to tell. Man, what am I catching on? I'm on the screw, so not up here. Am I just crashing into things? It's strange. I don't know what I'm hitting, but I suddenly can't move. Wow, I am legit stuck. Dang it, I might have to reload my previous save 
and re-come all the way down here. That really stinks, because yeah, I can't move at all. And that is one reason why you have to be really careful out here, folks. Because yeah, I just, I literally can't move. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting it pretty close to where we were before. Had to reload a previous save. That was a lot easier the second time. Just knowing a little bit more of what to expect. And also, once you see the lava river, just head like down hill. You don't want to head up. That's how you know which direction to go without the map. Okay. Keep following this lava river. This is so hard to see. Okay, don't want to head down too far. As we discovered, is that I'm like, is that where we got stuck? I'm not quite sure. Okay, need to go around that wall. Okay, what we got in here? Okay, okay. Um, more of the lava. Okay, what am I stuck on? And can I get to the top? Oh, oh wow. Let's go over away from the lava. Where are we? Like seriously, it is quite difficult to see. Okay. We're at a cavern edge. Ooh. Okay, I'm trying to get away from that. Okay, come on. We can do it. Yes. Did not hit anything, just kidding. There's so many things to hit. It's so narrow down here. All right, all right. I think this is the way. Oh, this looks like maybe it's opening out. Okay, I have no idea. Just still following that lava river. Gonna check my map real fast. Okay, heading the right direction. Gonna do uh, this real fast to get off those annoying la lava larva. All right, just keep following the river. Of lava, you know. Because apparently lava rivers exist underwater. Wouldn't think that they would like... Oh look, there's Kyanite! We've spotted our first Kyanite, that is exciting. Got a lava lizard right there, right everywhere. By the way, the only way that... So lava lizards, obviously, they leech off of the... The... Uh, here, we're gonna stop... Oh, whoa, look at that. Ugh. Can we uh, get off that? Oh, I need, I need to... So the only way you can keep the lava lizards from latching onto your thing, your cyclops, is to pretty much take all the power cells out of the engine. Which clearly isn't the most ideal solution. We're gonna grab some ionite. Uh, where did it go? There it is. Let's go over there. Yes, we got ourselves some kyanite. Can make some pretty fun little upgrades with this. Okay, so we're back in base, and now we can upgrade our depth module on our uh, prawn suit. And I also just did that for the uh, Cyclops. So, or throw that in there. Oh, and I was able to. Wait, have I done it for the Cyclops? No, I haven't done it for the Cyclops yet. But now I did make the the thermal reactor module. So that is going to be awesome. Let's actually just upgrade the one in my inventory. I have enough nickel and stuff, so it should be fine. So yeah, now we can upgrade this to Mark 3, which is very good. Because this will allow us to take our Cyclops to the lowest depths of the game, actually. We're getting pretty close now. It's kind of crazy. So yeah, it's able to get Kyanite from that, from those nodules. Do I have any more in here? I have one more. You do need some more for the rocket that you can make, so, but we will be grabbing more of those in a bit, so I'm just going to put those in and then bring you guys back once I am ready to drive. Alright, so as we look on our map, you can see we're opening up to this really big cavern, which is exactly what we're looking for. Can I... There we go. Got a bunch of lava larvae on there. Let's knock them off. As you can see, it just totally knocked them off. If you look at that going up, I was able to put in that thermal module. Okay, no, stop. I turned you off. And this number should hopefully be going up, especially now that we've got the lava larva off of our 
our whatchamacallit. Oh, yep, see, you just went up 42. Especially now that we've gotten the lava off of our Cyclops, which is very good. Oh, I'm hitting things. Okay, so there's a spot that I know of from my first playthrough that's a pretty decent spot to build a little outpost. So we're going to head over to the pretty much the southeast corner. Oh man, it's so hard to see. Southeast corner of this big cavern. All right. Got some more kyanite, which is good because we're going to need... I think you need 18 pieces total to build the the Cyclops and the Prawn module, depth modules. Or I guess maybe just the Prawn. I don't know. I can't really remember. But then uh, you also need some for the rocket that you build later. After you cure yourself of Kara because you can't leave the planet because of the quarantine enforcement platform. Wow, it is like so hard to tell which direction I'm going. Okay, we're coming up to the cavern wall, it looks like. Okay, let's head a little bit more this way. It's like seriously so hard to see. That's my only dislike about this area. I was like, couldn't they have made it a little bit brighter? That would have been really nice. Uh, okay, there's a wall again. Probably just chill here. Okay, okay. Is this it? Getting pretty close. All right. All right, this is like kind of intense. <laughs> Kind of stressful, but it's good. It's good. Where it's so dark, like seriously, hardly see a thing. Sure. Oh, yep. There is the uh, wall. This is why you still gotta check all your cameras angles. Is this it? It's following the cavern of wall cavern cavern wall of the cavern. Oh my goodness. Can't talk. So yeah, as you can see right here, entry. Which means there's an entry to the active lava zone just around here. And there's this little, like, alcove area right there. So let's hop in our prawn suit and take a quick little look around. And honestly, with the thermal reactor module, we're probably okay to just leave our, our cyclops on. Even though the... The lava larva. Ooh, there is a red eye eye. I want it. Come here, little friend. Aha. Cool. Wow, lots of. Yeah, there is so many good resources down here. Just everywhere. Very, very plentiful here. Yeah, isn't there? Okay, here we are. And let's. Oh, come on. Okay, fine. I will wait for some stamina, I guess. Oh no, we got to the top. Sweet. Whoa, I don't know what that noise was. There we go. Okay, we made it on top. So this little, like, platform, it's not huge, but it is a very nice spot that's like... Oh, just kidding! That's what's made that noise. There's a sea dragon right there. What is that? Whoa, it blew up. Okay, so yeah, there's a sea dragon down here. Which is why you have to be careful. Sea dragon leviathan. Or his full name. And this is why you have to be very careful about where you put your base. Okay. Just finding that little save alcove I was talking about. Right. Over. Here, I think, is a pretty safe spot. Okay. Do I have lights on this? I don't even know. Oh man, that thing is so big. So, yeah, this, as you can see, it's just like this. It's only got one entrance, so. Whew, okay. Let's get our Cyclops out of the way a little bit. 
And I think I'm just going to make the basic outpost without you guys, because I am. it's probably going to be almost the exact same as the one in the Lost River. Maybe a little bit smaller, because I only need the one moon pool, but yeah. This is why it's nice to have a little safe area that's close to the entry, but hidden enough away from that sea dragon leviathan and all of its terror, terribleness and terror. So yes, I will see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so we have our base, as you can see. I uh, was able to put some uh, thermal things down. Before I came down, I went and... Well, I was... I, I went and got some. I made sure to get that, so... Um, yeah. So this is what the base looks like. There's the sea dragon leviathan. Constantly roaring, which is uh, super fun. I have a little observatory, scanner room, moon pool. Just had to use that to get everything in. So inside, it's pretty... Pretty plain, pretty standard. Welcome aboard, Captain. Have just standard moon pool. I don't really have much decoration inside here. I really kind of like the observatory being there. And then I have the scanner room fully upgraded. And it shows like, ah, wish I could get it to load properly. But you can see, what is that doing there? Oh, that's from the moon pool beneath. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh man, that's so funny. I hadn't even noticed that yet. So as you can see right here, there's this little cave entrance, and then it like snakes out and like comes down over here. So we can see the beginning, the entrance to the active lava zone, which is exciting. And... Less! Ooh! Hopefully I remembered to edit that out, just sneezed. Okay. And then in here I just have... This is where I actually, you know, put some stuff in. I wanted to... I have all of those thermal reactors because I needed enough energy. I wanted to be able to run one of these. And these as well. So, and then I just threw a couple things up. But that, oh, and then the second floor is just this, which will give me food, and I just took out the bioreactor because I have enough thermal generator things, but those are good if you're just, you know, getting started and stuff, because they're just so easy and universal. But that is our base, and I think that's going to be it for today. We uh, have made it to down to the inactive lava zone. We have our little outpost in now we're ready to continue our little adventure with our Cyclops and Bronze Suit down into the deeps. Oh, I need to go grab my Bronze Suit and put it in here. But I wanted to show you guys with that thermal reactor module on, like, even though I'm pretty sure I have here. Let's look. I think I have lava larvae. See, I have three lava larvae on me now, but if you have that on there, like anywhere down here in the inactive lava zone, you're going to be fine energy-wise. They're really only super obnoxious before you're able to get that thermal reactor module in. As I've shown you guys, you can just go boom, boom, turn it off and on, and they're gone. So, little trick right there, but I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button, comment below if you have any questions, subscribe and hit that notification bell to see more, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!